hey guys welcome back to my channel so i already put about a teaspoon of oil in the pan and next i'm going to be adding my green bell pepper and onion so i did a whole onion and a half a bell pepper and you can also uh, cut them up a little smaller if you like or bigger this is going to be for the spaghetti mixture portion so i'm also going to be adding hamburger meat to this portion of the um mixture so go ahead and stir this mixture and um, i have my temperature on a medium so about between four and five and go ahead and cook this for about 10 to 15 minutes you don't want to you just want to make sure you keep your eye on it right now i'm adding salt to that pot so that pot is going to contain our spaghetti noodles and if you don't know i am making spaghetti alfredo so um i seen this on kimmy creations on instagram and i love her instagram so much i was like yeah let me try to make it and um i didn't take her recipe um but just make every any recipe you see make it your own whatever you season with season with so right now i'm adding spaghetti to that pot um so the spaghetti is going to be cooking while i'm making both of the alfredo and the hamburger meat mixture the spaghetti mixture so right now i'm just making that spaghetti mixture and um i'm gonna go ahead and just keep stirring it occasionally and let it cook down i am gonna add my hamburger meat to that Okay y'all, so I went ahead and added the hamburger meat to the green bell pepper and onion mixture. The temperature is still at between a 4 and a 5 and um, I'm going to go ahead and let this cook down for the next 10 minutes and we'll go ahead and let that marry and blend and everything. Hey guys, so right now I am just cooking that meat down and mashing it up, getting everything blended together. I am going to turn the temperature up just a little bit because it was kind of cooking a little slow for my liking. Um, so right now I'm about to show you guys the seasoning. So right now I added onion powder and Johnny season salt. I'm also going to add garlic powder and make sure you guys season to your liking. Um, it could look like I'm putting a lot of seasoning in, but I'm really not. Also add your ground black pepper. The next seasoning I'm going to add is Slappy Mama. When you go to the store and buy this, there's going to be this one that's yellow and red. And then there's going to be another one that's red on red. If you like spice, get the red on red. And then I also added the Italian seasoning and one of the seasons that i didn't show you guys that i added was sugar make sure you put sugar in all type of red sauces chili spaghetti anything red sauce put sugar in it doesn't have to be a lot like your dessert but just to put um so if i'm doing like a cup of tomato sauce for reference then i'm gonna put like two tablespoons of sugar in there so for this one i did put I kind of eyeballed it for this one. I did about a tablespoon and then a teaspoon because I didn't know how much sauce I was going to use. So I ended up using all that whole can. So I did add more uh, sugar later. So I went ahead and got all those seasonings stirred together and mixed them well. So then um, I'm going to keep that heat on for about 10 more minutes just for the meat to cook. And then yeah.
y'all so i moved the pans around um i moved the meat mixture to the back so right now we're working on the alfredo so i put a little slab of butter in and you can put more or less i did go ahead and put some minced garlic in there and the reason why i did minced garlic is because i already did onion powder so do a little minced garlic and um i did about a hefty teaspoon of that um and then i went ahead and added my heavy whipping cream um so i added that and brought that let that come up to a boil and that's just a tomato sauce that i'm going to be adding to the hamburger meat mixture you can add by any tomato sauce that you like that's just the one that i chose and um so this is boiling up pretty fast so i let that boil to let that butter melt and everything and then i went ahead and added my seasoning it's the same seasoning that i added in the meat mixture but it's just a, not as much um so I went ahead and stirred all that together and I noticed that there wasn't it wasn't going to be a lot because when Alfredo it cools down and all of that that's the cheese I'm going to be adding later so I noticed that it was gonna, wasn't going to be a lot so I did I decided to add lactose free milk um just because I know it's a lot of cheese and my babies are lactose intolerant so I wanted to kind of balance it out and to make the sauce a little um a little lighter so I went ahead and added more milk and that's when I added my cheese I didn't add too much cheese because I'm going to be adding cheese in the actual when I put everything together um, and any you can get any cheese you can get cheddar provolone mozzarella I normally buy the blend just so I don't have to buy multiple cheese cheeses so definitely get a blend that you like and so I'm gonna let this boil and I did turn this up because I just needed it to boil really quick and then um, we're going to go ahead and add everything together. Okay, y'all, so it's time to assemble everything that we created. So right now I'm adding the pasta sauce into the pan and then we are adding the alfredo into the mix make sure you scrape that pan to get all that seasoning and the next we're going to add is the spaghetti um sauce mixture with the hamburger meat and veggies go ahead and add that into and mix thoroughly when i say thoroughly mix thoroughly you don't see me trying to make a video don't play with me now. bruh okay y'all so mix all that and um i had to bring the tongs out because baby it was getting it was getting difficult so mix all that together make sure every noodle is covered with the alfredo and the spaghetti sauce and then what you're going to do next is you're going to um, add some cheese a tip for this is if you have block cheese go ahead and cube up the block cheese and throw it in there and mix it in and if you're really a cheese fanatic a cheese person then you'll definitely 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 enjoy that because you'll get like pockets of whatever cheese you decide and so what i did was i skipped that step just because my kids are lactose intolerant so um i went ahead and topped with the same cheese that i showed you guys the italian blend that's the favorite cheese i like my favorite cheese just because it has everything in it so go ahead and top with that and then i preheated my oven to 350 and i put that dish in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes honestly until the cheese is done and wham bam thank you motherfucking ma'am it looks delicious and nutritious and my kids slop it up they really enjoyed it they had i feed my kids generously so they had about um half the plate that i'm about to show y'all they had about half of that each and um you can actually make this with the garlic bread a side salad but baby i was a little lazy and i couldn't do it so um I hope you enjoy and let me know if you guys really like this video if you want more go ahead and let me know that or if you want me to make something um go ahead and let me know that and kaya kaya's in the cut kaya say hi say hi she's saying hi but now she want to be shy okay guys so i hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one